In today's video, we're going to go over some tips and tricks that will help you guys out in breachers. First things first, let's go over some options real quick. You're going to want to go to comfort all the way down. Auto sprint. I do recommend busting out the auto sprint. That's just because it's so much faster to be able to just drop your hands and continue running without having to worry about clicking the joystick. First round is always a pistol round. What I do is I go with the Jesper, and then I'll have the heal syringe and breaching foam. Blue team is attacking, yellow team defends. We are on the blue team right now. One thing to note here, you have your credits, right? And whenever you purchase stuff, it costs credits. Right here is the min for the next round. That's your minimum that you're gonna have for the next round. As I purchase things, you can see that it goes up and it goes down. Uh, just know the Taurus is a beefy pistol. This thing, six shots, one taps to the head. The Jesper, not so much. You're practically shooting BBs. So with this, you're going to have to dink them in the head, pretty much like every gun. But I always run with the basic pistol and the breaching foam and the heal syringe, definitely for the first round, just because you're going to be healing during the pistol round. Now for corners, there is a leaning mechanic like this. You can just kind of lean and you can shoot people this way. As long as you're not hitting the joystick, your whole body won't go with you. So you can just get that lean over here. So I'll go over the heel syringe and the foam real quick. The heel syringe you can use as much as you want. This yellow dot right here just indicates that you can use it. Whenever you hit the trigger and bring it to your chest, it'll turn green. Once I use it, you'll see that later on. Also, the breaching foam. You can use only three times. Whenever you spray it, the little cap will pop up. Once it pops up, you slap it, and then it'll blow up. You can only use it three times per round, though. But with the heel syringe, you can use it as much as you want. There's just a long cooldown. All right, so here's the breaching foam. Let me get away, because people are just going to be all over this. Red cap popped up. You see that, right? I did cover every gadget thoroughly. It's in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You just tap on that. I should have it pop it up right now. If editing effing would do that right there, thank you. Appreciate it. It goes over every single gadget. So let's go over some of the repelling right now. They did add a swing mechanic. This swing mechanic, you just press the joystick button and... Uh-oh. You can go swinging in. I, I got a bot on my team right now. This is going to be rough, but yeah, you can swing in. It's really good for breaching into the hot spots, taking the enemy by surprise. And there's there's spots you can mount right here. Uh-oh, I might die right here. Oh. This is a team game for sure. You need to just hover with your team. Like, I'm going to go over here and heal my friendly here. Here we go. And that's how you heal them. You just run right there and stab it. But again, it comes with a cooldown cost. So, like, now I cannot use my heals until that is done. There we go. He's going for that. I wish we could just pop it for him. You know what I mean? We're going to rush in here. <laughs> I'm honestly, I didn't think that was going to work. But there's little spots you can actually mount up on, on the level. You see how that just highlights? Just grab and swing. It's the same way you mount right into a window. I love my SMGs. We'll go over some of this real quick. My loadout is always a front grip, extended mag, suppressor pretty much on every gun. Suppressor reduces recoil by 10%. The front grip helps you control the recoil. Extended mag just because I love a lot of bullets. Now, I don't use a sight on the Omen, you know? I think the, the omen sight is okay. It's not too bad. But whenever we go over to the Vezin, for sure, I'm going to be using the holographic sight on here. Just, you know, because their sight is pretty terrible. See that? It is, it is pretty wretched. But, you know, I do the holographic sight. This is all preference, though. The omen and the RCP are pretty much similar. They say that both of those hit the same. But I want to say the omen hits to the head harder. The Viper has a faster rate of fire. But the Vezin, this thing is a one tap to the head. And uh, I always put, it has a lot of recoil, so I always put the suppressor on. Again, you got that lean. Now you can hear footsteps. You should be able to hear people walking around. So you gotta use your headphones for sure. 
So as far as the loadout goes, I love going with the heal syringe and a frag, but it took too long to grab it. Those are usually the ones that you battle for, so do rush to get yourself a heal syringe. This is all preference. Again, the incendiary is great. However, they can just kind of walk through it without dying. They do lose a lot of health. They do lose a lot of health. We're going to go with the cloaking device. Now, the cloaking device is okay as long as you don't move around a lot. So if you just cloak yourself and stand still. Look at that swing. That is so awesome. If you cloak yourself and stand still, you're practically completely see-through. But the more you move, the easier you're seen. Now, this is not what you look like. This is just what it looks like on the screen whenever you are using it, just to indicate that you are using it. So every six rounds you rotate, we just did six rounds, we were tied. This is actually a very close game. And now we just rotated. Now we are yellow, we are defending. Again, every time you switch, the first round's always a pistol round. The Taurus kicks. This was a brutal gun, but I don't like wasting all of the cash on it. I always like getting the syringe, but again, I was too slow, so I'm probably gonna go with this. But my loadout, what I like to do is I, do, I bust out a heal syringe, a frag and then I'll grab something to defend with so it looks like we're just gonna get probably two frags a nice little trick right here drop boom now you got it now you got a third one and you don't have to wait for it to hit the ground if it's the ground people can pick it up they can run off with it but we're gonna run with the Jesper in this one this is a door blocker you can actually put these in windows as well so when somebody breaks a window you can door blocker a window so as defenders all you're supposed to do is just guard the bomb now when they come in with the EMP they can throw it on any wall in the room of of the bomb both a or b just the wall as long as it's in the same room like right here they could actually put it right here and plant the emp we planted this bomb strictly because us employees needed a cost of living raise an increase a reward for working and they did not do that no i'm just kidding i don't know what the i don't know what the whole thing is but of course if you pay attention to the wrist right here you can see there is two of us alive and none of them alive now it does tell you if my mic's on or off how much time you have left in the round and also what your health is at try to use your money sparingly for sure i mean if you can last a round without using anything great here we go with the door blocker one thing people do not know you can door blocker a huge a huge dual door like that it's great the only thing they can do is just roll grenades under which i have done oh a triple somebody clipped that dude Rolling grenades under is probably the best way to work with this because not only do you blow the people up on the other side, nine times out of ten it'll blow up the door blocker too. The proximity sensor, you can actually hide much better than that. You can stick it in the planter, you can stick it to the ceilings, whatever you can reach. So with this, what I like to do is I just swipe up over here and come across. While they're up there, they can't see me, they can't shoot me anymore, they can't see me to shoot my toes or anything. We also gotta watch over here, yep, people are back over here now. Again, lean mechanic. That lean mechanic is, is fierce. Awesome, see that? Friendly got me. So what I'm gonna do is move over here. My heels, you can see that the heel is going up on my gun right here. It's at the 80, moving up to 85. Detail oriented, detail oriented. Got him. Swipe back up here. There we go. <laughs> For people who do not know, release date, I have no clue when it's gonna be releasing, but it's gonna be releasing with a total of three maps, two maps we will not be able to test. We're gonna move on up to this Bezin now. So crouch walking is very useful, definitely, when you're trying to get an edge on somebody, you know? You're not completely dead silent. You're not dead silent, but another thing to note is you can disarm your grenades. Your friendlies, anyways. I don't know if you could do that with a, uh... I don't know if you can actually disarm... Boom. I don't know if you can actually disarm enemies' frags. Like, I, that's something I'd really like to find out. The one thing I do want to note, because a lot of people don't understand this, this static field emitter. This yellow spot right here, or the white spot, what it, whatever it appears to you. That's the spot you have to shoot. You can't shoot the side of it. You can't shoot around it. You can't shoot the electric. You have to get right there. So if you actually hide that, maybe into like a corner or something, and you see the path that it's going to actually stretch out to, you can hide it from getting destroyed. Another way to destroy them, grenades, of course. So if you throw a grenade like probably right in here, 
then it'll take out both that and that the door blocker and the static field emitter so that about sums it up just uh you know get your experience in the maps there's gonna be multiple maps at launch you know figure out what little spots you have experiment like look for that little spot right there so you can actually mount onto things you can't mount onto everything quite a few of them but not all of them you know it looks like they're all pushing up from up front right here Guys, just get out there and have fun with it. The game is amazing. It's free right now to test out. And uh, hope to see you guys out there. And peace out till next time.